or um, TurboBot 2 robot in Arviz. Uh, currently running on the robot is a RealSense D435 camera plus a ZR300 camera, which is giving me the uh, depth field that you see. I wanted to have that separate. Um, and the D435 camera is feeding into the Nui Track SDK. So the Nui Track SDK will take the raw depth data that you see and uh, use that to track a person. And uh, based upon that, I'm tracking four points on the spine. And so you see colored balls. Whenever you see the colored balls in this uh, simulation, you're actually seeing where the robot thinks that the person is at. So I'm gonna go get in front of the camera now and let this thing track so you can see what it does. So here I am in front of the camera. You can see me and the robot is, the head is panning and tilting to track me as I move around. And you'll see the colored balls, those colored balls represents where it thinks the spine is at. There's a little bit of latency, part of that's in my code and part of that's just because the uh, the depth data comes immediately and the uh, person data comes slightly afterward. Um, so sometimes there's a little bit of lag as it's tracking the person moving around in front, but that's not a problem in actual use. Um, you also see sometimes the balls don't perfectly align. That's just because it's trying to interpret where it thinks the human is at. And so you get different kinds of uh, data based upon how good of a lock. Now, I'm currently really close to the robot, which makes it actually harder for it. I'm in a small room. So in a larger room, it would do a better job of tracking. So I moved over here to my chair. And even sitting down, the robot's able to see where I'm at. Uh, you can see that the head is actually panned over to track my position here. If I go to a different view, we could try looking as a top down and see what that looks like. go so it's here yeah. and now you can see there's the robot looking down at looking at me and as I move around those little colored balls again follows where my uh, where I actually am and you can see me in the depth cloud there and little balls tracking it as I move around now it lost me for a second there and then it got back and it was tracking me again you can see it tracking. And that's the um, RealSense D435 feeding depth data to the Nui Track SDK, which is then sending ROS messages to ROS to control the camera.